You know, years ago, Trace, um, Jetty Road, the girls, Lee and Paula said to us that there was a real synergy between Australian country music and Canadian country music. And they said, Canadians have fallen in love with Australians and Australia will fall in love with Canadians. And that is the case because we're going to have a few of them at the Gimby Muster this weekend. And someone that Brisbane's taken to their heart over the last couple of years is Cody Prevo. And he joins us now. Welcome back to Australia and particularly Queensland, Cody. Hey, guys, it's incredible to be back. Thanks so much for having me on the show. It's it's true, isn't it? There's a real fan base there, isn't there? You know, it's incredible. I, I've started coming here in January of 2015, and, and basically, you know, I feel right at home here. It reminded me a lot of being in Canada. The people are just so incredible, and it's just, you know, I'm so thankful that, you know, my music has been received here and accepted by, by all the folks, and it's just a, it's a blast to get to come here and, and to perform for everybody. And, you know, it's a funny thing. When you do get personal, Cody, um, up close and personal um, with Australians, we do take you on board. And one of our listeners, Paige, who I cannot forget to say hello to you from Paige, um, she's not going to be at Gimpy this year, but she does say, please say hello to Cody for me. So hello, Cody from Paige. Well, hello, Paige. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, just such huge supporters of country music. And I've been actually chatting with Paige through Facebook and through different outlets. And she is going to be able to make one of the shows. So I'm excited to see her. And it's just, it's great to be back and to be able to catch up with, with people like Paige. That's right. And that's what I was saying like, with people like Paige. Once they get a hold of you, that's it. And we just want to keep you having coming back. And, and your fan base does build and build. And while you're back home in Canada, it is building from the things that you've done while you're here. And, you know, we just want to keep getting you back and back. And I think that's what we're going to find at Gimpy this year because they haven't let you sit and rest for too long, have they? <laughs> Well, not quite yet, but I actually enjoy that. That's what I like. I love, I love staying busy. And you know, when you when you fall into a, a career choice that you that you fall in love with, it's you know every day you're living your dream, and it's it's not work at all. And that's that's what I love about what I do. And you know, it's the people of Australia and the people of Canada who keep me doing that. So that's what I'm thankful for, and that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm just excited to be working as hard as I can while I am here. What have you heard about uh, the, the muster and particularly the crowbar? I've heard some great things. You know, I've heard uh, numerous stories. There's been people even in Canada who come to Canada from Australia. And a lot of times they come to Canada and they work for farms and, and farmers in the area. And so they'll come out to the shows when I'm performing in Canada and I tell them I'm going to the Gimpy Muster, and they just cannot believe it. They have just great things to say. They're like, you're going to have a blast there. The people are all there for the same reason, and that's to have a good time. And so I'm just definitely excited about getting to be a part of this amazing, amazing music festival. And I just heard such great things from everybody and how they give back, and it's it's just such a wonderful event. It is a cracker of an event. Now, Cody, the question we're going to ask you, we've got you working there on, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we've got you... The Crowbar, 10 p.m. on the Thursday night, back in the Crowbar on Friday at 5.45 p.m. and again on Sunday at 5.15 p.m. Is there going to be much of a difference between the three different shows or are they going to be fairly similar? Uh, You know, we'll probably change up the songs from night to night a little bit, but uh, there will be some similarities in the shows, but as well, you know, it's part of my show is always getting the crowd involved and, and getting people to have the same experiences that we're having on stage. So we're definitely going to be, you know, looking to do that and get people, you know, singing along and dancing and just having a great time. Well, the first night, Thursday night, 10 o'clock, it's certainly going to be a great night, folks. It's going to be cool enough so you'll be able to warm up with Cody Prevo there and uh, enjoy it. And make sure, folks, afterwards you go up and introduce yourself and, uh, and, go, and, say, and go and say good day, get some albums, get some music and some merchandise and stay in touch with it because I can tell you this bloke is a genuine gentleman and uh, a wonderful muso and a great voice too. So uh, you will enjoy your time with Cody Prevo. That's right. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And we'll be hanging out there all weekend, and I just can't wait to take in, you know, not only performing there, but going and visiting the campgrounds and getting to see the different camping areas and the different things that Gimpy has to offer. Well, we'll be catching Cody Prevo down the line. Oh, he had to get it in somewhere. (laughs) Perfect. Okay. Well, Cody, we're going to catch up with you definitely in um, a few hours, really. So uh, we'll catch you at the Gimpy Muster. And in the meantime, folks, have a listen. Here is Cody Prevo right now with Down the Line.